If you want to boost your FPS from this to this, I tested the new patched fast flag settings and the FPS boost is crazy plus you get super low ping. In this video, I'll walk you through how to apply these updated settings step by step so you can squeeze every frame out of Roblox. So let's dive in. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Roblox for best performance on low-end PCs. Let's begin by making your PC faster so Roblox can run more smoothly. The first thing we need to do is turn off some of the fancy effects in Windows that slow your computer down. Click on the Windows search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. When you see that option pop up, click on it. This will open a window called Performance Options. Inside that window, you need to select the option that says, Adjust for best performance. This will turn off all the extra visual effects that aren't needed and often slow your system down. Doing this will help Roblox run faster and more smoothly. But if you still want things on your screen to look a little nicer, you can leave two things turned on. Smooth edges of screen fonts, so the text on your screen looks clearer and easier to read, and show thumbnails instead of icons, so you can see previews of your files instead of just plain icons. After you choose those options, click Apply to save the settings. Next, click on the Advanced tab in the same window. Under the section called Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This setting will make sure more of your computer's power goes to Roblox instead of other background stuff. Once you've done all that, click OK to save and close the window. These simple changes will help your computer run more smoothly, reduce lag, and increase your FPS when playing Roblox. Step 2. Use Block Strap. Fast flag settings to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. First, I'm going to test Block Strap with fast flag settings to boost FPS. After that, I'll tell you which gives better FPS and performance. Now, let's move on and use a special tool called Block Strap Launcher to improve Roblox graphics and performance. To start, download Block Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once you finish installing it, open it, and click on Configure Settings. This is where you will be able to see all the options clearly. Right now, go to the Integrations tab. In this tab, you will find many helpful and easy-to-use settings. For example, there is an option called Allow Multi-Instance Launching, and another called Query Server Location. The Server Location option lets you see the country and location of the Roblox server you are connected to whenever you join a game. This is a very useful feature. You can also turn on Show Game Activity and Show Reference Account. These will let other people see which account you are using on your Discord profile, as well as the Roblox game you are currently playing. This is visible through your Discord profile, which is a nice extra feature. Now, let's move to the Bootstrapper tab. This tab mostly has some simple settings that are not very exciting. It includes basic quality of life options like asking for confirmation before opening another Roblox instance. These options are helpful, but they're honestly a bit boring. Next is the Mods tab. Here, you will find the Mods folder, which lets you add custom textures, custom audio files, and other similar things. You should probably avoid changing anything here unless you know exactly what you are doing, but it is still interesting to see. There are also some nice presets here, such as Use Old Death Sound, Mouse Cursors, and Old Avatar Editor Background. These are fun little features that bring back the old Roblox style and feeling. It's all very cool, but we have even better things coming up next. Now, we are going to look at the Engine Settings section. Here, you will find many ready-made settings and options for rendering and graphics. You can adjust these settings to boost FPS, lower ping, and reduce input delay or lag. These settings are designed to make your game faster, smoother, and more responsive. If you want to add fast flags to help with this, you can download the FPS Boost Pack from my website. The link will be in the description. Inside these settings, you can also change the font style. At the bottom of this section, there is a fast flag editor where you can paste your custom fast flags. The last two tabs, Appearance and Shortcuts, are also not very exciting, but they still give you useful options. Appearance lets you change how the bootstrapper looks, and Shortcuts lets you manage quick actions for different tasks. Now it's time to test the fast flags in Blockstrap. For this, we will go to the Fast Flag Editor and get some fast flags from my FPS Boost Pack. I will put the link in the description so you can easily find it and download the fast flags. Here's what you need to do. Then press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy all the flags from that Google Doc. Next, go back to Blockstrap, click the Import JSON button, and paste all the flags you copied. Your fast flags will now be added and enabled. Now we're going to test the FPS. First, close Blockstrap, search for it again, open it, and then launch Roblox. 
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we will make sure your CPU, the brain of your computer, runs at full speed while you play Roblox. To do this, we're going to use a program called Quick CPU. After the program is installed, open it. At the top of the Quick CPU window, you will see an option to choose a power plan. Set this to Ultimate Performance. This setting keeps your CPU running at maximum speed all the time, which is great for gaming. Then scroll down to the sliders below. Set core parking to 100% so all of your CPU cores stay active. Set performance to 100%. Set frequency scaling to 100%. Set turbo boost to 100%. These settings stop your CPU from slowing down during games. After setting all of these, click Apply, then click OK to save everything. Next, go to the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Here, check the box to turn on Turbo Boost. Also check the box for EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, which lets your CPU manage its power and speed more smartly. Once you have done all of this, close Quick CPU. These settings will stay active and will help your CPU work better while playing Roblox. Step 4. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. ISLC is a tool that helps free up your computer's RAM, which is the memory your computer uses to run programs like Roblox. By cleaning up unused memory, Roblox can use more memory and run more smoothly. First, open the ISLC program. At the top of the window, you will see your total system memory shown in megabytes, MB. In the box that says free memory is lower than, type in half of your total RAM. For example, if your system has 32,000 megabytes of RAM, type 16,000. If it has 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. Then check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. Launch ISLC on user logon. These settings make sure ISLC starts automatically every time your computer turns on. On the right-hand side of the screen, turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.5e. Set the polling rate to 1,000. But if your PC is slower, you can set it to 1,000 instead. Now click stop, then start. And finally click the button that says purge standby list. This will clean up unused memory and help Roblox run more smoothly. Step 5. Make your hardware talk faster. Using MSI Utility. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we'll use a tool called MSI Utility to help your computer parts, like the CPU and GPU, communicate faster. This can reduce lag and make your system feel more responsive when playing games. Open the program and you will see a list of devices installed on your system. Look through the list and find your graphics card, GPU. Check the box labeled MSI next to it. Then change the interrupt priority to high. If you are using integrated graphics, such as Intel HD graphics, do the same thing. Check the MSI box and set the priority to high. After setting everything, click apply and close the tool. This will help reduce lag and make your system faster and smoother when you play Roblox. Step six, make your PC start faster by disabling extra apps. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ES key on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Then, click the Startup tab at the top. You will see a list of apps that open automatically when your PC turns on. Look through the list and right-click on any apps that you don't need to open at Startup, like Discord, Spotify, or others. Then click Disable. This will stop those apps from starting automatically. Once you finish all of these steps, your CPU and GPU will work better. 
Roblox will run with higher FPS, less lag, and smoother performance.